What would you say to your loved ones if they were trapped in Sudan at the moment? If I had, if I had family there, if I was there myself, um, if I had a window of opportunity that I thought was safe enough based on my risk calculus, then I would try and get to somewhere where I believed that I'd be safer um, and further away from the fighting and then work out how to get to the port or an airport from there. Um, but, you know, and how would you assess your risk? Well, I've had military training and know. You know, I've been in these hostile environments for many years in my life, so I, I know I, maybe my risk appetite is, is higher. Um, but it's just absorbing anything you can in terms of news and updates and, and trying to work out um, with local partners as well. I mean, all these people who are living in Sudan or have been posted to work there will likely have local networks and, and that kind of information could be absolutely valuable for them um, in terms of understanding what might be safe enough um, to be able to get to a place that would allow them to be extracted. Yeah, I mean, my team in my ear is saying, you know, how absolutely fascinating it is. And, and of course, you know the, the challenges because you've been in that position. But what about people who, who don't know the risks? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's terrifying. You know, if you are in your apartment hiding under your bed, as you said, and you're running out of water and you're running out of food and it, you can hear gunfire outside your house, it is traumatising. And I think that's another thing that the government must start already to be thinking about is that even when we do extract these people safely, that what services are we going to be able to provide them for the children who may be traumatised, having seen fighting or been wrapped up in it themselves, they may have been wounded or had family members hurt or, or seen other of their friends um, killed or wounded. So that is another issue that needs to be thought about now and not wait.